Praise God. This is Reverend Dr. Catherine Mother from Moments of Miracles Mom. And today, for our Bible Study Thursday, we are going to discuss the tabernacle. The tabernacle. And what is the tabernacle? Well, the tabernacle was a movable tent of meeting that God commanded Moses to build. And he commanded him to build that so that he could meet with Moses. And let's go to Exodus 25, verse 1 and 2. And the Lord spake unto Moses, saying, Speak unto the children of Israel, that they bring me an offering of every man that giveth it willingly, with his heart, ye shall take my offering. And we're going to move into 25, 8, and 9, which states, And let them make me a sanctuary, that I may dwell among them. 9. According to all that I show thee, after the pattern of the tabernacle, and the pattern of all the instruments thereof, even so shall ye make it. God wanted to dwell among his people, the Israelites. He wanted to have fellowship with them and be able to communicate with them. Let's move to Exodus 25, 22. Which says, And there I will meet with thee, and I will commune with thee from above the mercy seat from between the two cherubims which are upon the ark of the testimony of all things which I will give thee in commandment unto the children of Israel. The tabernacle and its courtyard were constructed according to a pattern set by God, not by Moses. We studied the tabernacle to understand the steps that the Lord laid out for sinful people to approach a holy God. The tabernacle became the place that God dwelled with his people for 400 years, from the Exodus until the time of King Solomon, when the temple was built. The tabernacle was in the center of the Israelite camp. The 12 tribes of Israel were encamped around it. The figures in the boxes that you can see, um, the big square tabernacle, and you see the boxes around the tabernacle are the 12 tribes of Israel, were encamped around it. The figures in the boxes refer to the number of males aged 20 or over in each tribe. And the total number would be 603,550 men of age 20 and above. One of the fascinating facts about the tabernacle, there are 50 chapters in the Bible that discuss the tabernacle. The tabernacle would have fit in half of a football field or soccer field and if you notice it tells us its length and its width its length is 50 cubits that's 75 feet or 23 meters and its width is 100 cubits which is 150 feet or 45 meters long and if you look on the right, you can see the entrance was 20 cubits. God had laid this plan specifically for Moses to follow. The tabernacle of the Old Testament was a shadow of things in heaven. Hebrew 8, 1 through 5. And let's go to Hebrews 8, 1 and 5, 1 to 5. Now of the thing which we have spoken, this is the Son. We have such 
and high priest who is set on the right hand of the throne <coughs> excuse me, of the majesty in the heavens. Two, a minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle which the Lord pitched and not man. Three, for every high priest is ordained to offer gifts and sacrifices. Wherefore, it is of necessity that this man have somewhat also to offer. Four, for if he were on earth, he should not be a priest, seeing that there are priests that offer gifts according to the law. Five, who serve unto the example and shadow of heavenly things, as Moses was admonished of God when he was about to make the tabernacle. For he said he, that thou make all things according to the pattern showed to those or to thee in the mount. So God specifically gave Moses a patent. And he lets us know that the real tabernacle is in heaven. This is where Jesus himself is, our high priest. And that's what Hebrews 8 and 2 tells us. A minister of the sanctuary and of the true tabernacle, which the Lord pitched and not man. Amen. The tabernacle was built using many expensive materials, gold, silver, bronze, precious wood, and rare cloth. In modern terms, the cost would exceed over one million dollars. Orphans from the Israelites paid for the material, and we would find that in Exodus 35, 22 through 36 and 3. That's Exodus 35, 22 through 36. And I want to go there. One board had two tenants, equally distant one from another. Thus did he make for all the board, excuse me, that's Exodus 36. We're going to 3522. And they came, both men and women, as many as were willing, hearted, and brought bracelets and earrings and rings and tablets, all jewels of gold. And every man that offered, offered an offering of gold unto the Lord. Now God called the Israelites to give an offering, and freely they gave their offering. Praise God. 23. And every man with whom was found blue and purple and scarlet and fine linen and goat's hair and red skins of rams and badger skin brought them. 24. Everyone that did offer an offering of silver and brass brought the Lord's offering and every man with whom was found chisel wood for any works of the service brought it and all the women that were wise hearted did spin with their hands and brought that which they had spun so they had a spinning wheel and they spun the cloth into draperies or whatever material that was needed for God's sanctuary, his house, both of blue and of purple, and of scarlet, and of fine linen. 26. And all the women were, and all the women whose heart stirred them up in wisdom, spun goat's hair. 27. And the ruler brought onyx stones and stones to be set for the if part and for the breastplate and we'll discuss that later 
and spice and oil for the light and for the anointing oil and for the sweet incense. 29. The children of Israel brought a willing offering unto the Lord. Every man and woman whose heart made them willing to bring for all manner of work which the Lord had commanded to be made by the hands of Moses. So everyone pitched in and by their works that was considered also an offering. 30. And Moses said unto the children of Israel, See the Lord had called by name Belzalel, the son of Uri, the son of Hur, of the tribe of Judah. 31. And he had filled him with the Spirit of God, in wisdom, in understanding, and in knowledge, and in all manner of workmanship. 32. And to develop curious works, to work in gold, and in silver, and in brass. 33. And in the cutting of stone, to set them in carrying of wood, to make any manner of cunning work. 34. And he had put his heart that he may teach both he and Aholab, the son of Ahishamach, of the tribe of Dan. 36. Them have he filled with wisdom of heart to work all manner of work of the engraver and of the hunting workmen and of the embroiderer in blue and in purple in scarlet and in fine linen and of the weaver even of them that do any work and of those that devise cunning works so here we see all the children of Israel abide by God's command and gave an offering. And this is where we today are trying to get the people to understand that it's better to give than receive. An offering is required. You never come to church empty-handed. Now, the Israelites were so generous, they gave more than was needed. Moses had to command them to stop giving in Exodus 36 and 6. And it reads, Let neither man nor woman make any more work for the offering of the sanctuary, so the people were sustained from bringing. Do you think we could ever get to the place that the Israelite got to where we have given so much that we could stop giving? I think we can. I think that is something that God himself would allow us to do. Now when we look at the table in front of us on the screen, you'll see an indicator which has N for North, S for South, W for West, and E for East. So let's start on the North, shall we? On the top, we have the tribe of Natali, which has 53,400 men, the tribe of Asher, 41,500 men, the tribe of Dane, 62,700 men. These are the families of Moriah. And you find that in number three. If we go down to the east, by the entrance, you have the tribe of Iskar, 54,500 men. 
the tribe of Judah, 74,600 men. The tribe of Zebulon, 57,400 men. Now let's go south, the family of Kodak. And that, he's also in Numbers 3. The tribe of Gade, or Gat, 45,650 men. The tribe of Simeon, 59,300 men. The tribe of Reuben, 46,500 men. And on the west, from top to bottom, we have the tribe of Ephraim, 40,500 men. And remember, Ephraim and Manasseh was Joseph's son that Jacob adopted. The next we have the tribe of Manasseh, 32,200 men. And then last, the tribe of Benjamin, 35,400 men. The family of the Kershonites. So, It equaled the tabernacle. One cubit equaled one and a half feet or 46 centimeters. Amen. So at this time, we're going to end our Bible study on today and we'll continue with the tabernacle next week. God bless and have a great day. This is Reverend Catherine signing out.